Hey guys, in this short movie, I want to show you how you easily can connect OptiTuyo with Ventus. So I set up here a very simple scene, just with a couple of lights and a simple background in one layer. And in the second layer, I just uh, capture here my live feed. And uh, I use directly the color difference here to get uh, rid of the green here in our studio. Down here on the table, we have uh, our OT800 bundle. Now let me open up uh, OptiTuyo. And uh, now just let's make a quick, simple setup. So I add our sensor. I'm using here our OT800. So this is the Kelly LS. I have to change quickly the IP that it fits into our network here in the studio. And uh, let me start up OptiTuyo. Okay. So we have already the raw data from the scanner right here. Now let's create a quick screen. So that screen will be something like 1.7 meters or 1700 millimeter by one meter in the height and the offset is okay because you can see here the sensor is standing pretty much on the yeah on the very bottom of my uh, of my screen of course the perspective is not correct but uh, for this tutorial should be okay uh, next let's add this screen what we created here to our device let's go to the output and let's add and to your output because Ventus works very nicely with OptiTuyo. Now we can see here we have a little uh, ghost touch point. That green is a little ghost touch point. That's totally okay. So maybe we bring up our screen a little bit over the y-axis until the ghost touch point is, is gone. Okay, so about nine millimeters. Okay, now let's go back here and let's turn on our live input. That live input basically gives you all the interaction uh, or visualizes all the interaction in your renderer, right? So let's bring back uh, OptiTuyo. And now let me step into the screen. So as you can see, there is nothing you have to do actually. Uh, it's just working by default. Um, let's also quickly add here a little uh, interactive uh, button in Ventus. So let me create a new layer, just that we have uh, our inter interactive button in front of everything, also in front of uh, my live, live feed, right? So we create a 3D layer, standard, let's call it interactive for interaction doesn't matter so now let's jump into this interactive layer where we want to create just a simple button let's uh, use first our touch, touch translation then we use axis and let's use a rectangle and scale this all a bit up and now let me jump into the studio i also open optitudio that you can see both sides and i also will select here the interactive node, the touch translation node, that you also can see here what's happening in the outputs once I use OptiTuyo to uh, interact basically with this button now or with this rectangle. So as you can see, that's pretty easy. Uh, you actually uh, don't need to set up anything in Ventus. Make sure that the Tuyo port is open in the Ventus configuration, but that should be by default. And of course, uh, you can find you an OptiTuyo much more for your projects. Okay, until then, see you. Bye-bye.